Cody and Dakota were very fearful. But Cody's desire to overcome his fear amazed everyone involved. It seemed that overnight he went from being one of the most fearful horses to being the sweetest, earning him the nickname Loverboy. The physical signs of the horse's recovery were now clearly visible. Their wounds had healed, their hair had grown back, and together they had achieved a combined weight gain of over 8,000 pounds. Equally amazing was the bond they had developed. Though the past had nearly broken their spirits, their commitment to each other allowed them to survive, and this unlikely group of misfits emerged as a family with a connection that could never be broken. For the horses to reach their true potential, they would have to be trained. In yet one more miracle, the person who was needed for this work entered their life. Jan Watterson, a certified Foundation Natural Horse Trainer, was taken by the story of these horses and agreed to help. Jan gently guided the horses through each step without restraints and force. The horses learned control, not with ropes and whips, but with gentle movements and voice. Like children that are taught with patience, these horses responded quickly. Jan's classroom was in the form of a round pen, and like pupils anxious to learn, the horses would stand at the side of the pen, waiting for their chance to be a star. Like the rest of the volunteers, Jan saw something in the willingness of these horses that she had never seen before. Only two-year-old Dakota held back. No one had been able to approach him because of his fear, and there was worry that he would never come around. Dakota watched with the other horses as Jan taught, his eyes fixed on Jan and her every movement. One day, Jan looked up to see that a new student had made his way to her pen. It was Dakota. The last horse had learned to trust. The pasture where the horses were kept was in the middle of a small suburban town. They were the only horses in town, and the kids were drawn to them, especially those who needed something. As they had with Kendra, the horses responded to the attention of the children. The horses, in turn, became the friends that some of the kids had never had. The calm acceptance of the horses provided an escape and refuge for the kids that so badly needed it. Watching these special horses interact with these special kids showed that these animals had a unique healing power. For years, horses have been used for therapeutic purposes with remarkable results. But these horses, who had suffered so much, seemed to transfer a message of calm healing to these kids who needed it. In September 2003, the case against the owner was settled out of court. A plea bargain kept the owner out of jail. In return, he was ordered to give up all rights to these horses and to never own a horse again. Although he was not jailed for his crime, the horses were saved. Although their future looked brighter, the county prepared to auction off these horses individually to pay Beth for the cost of their care. While the plan made absolute sense financially, something was wrong. After sleepless nights, it finally came to Beth. This herd had survived and healed together and should never be separated. Most importantly, together they had a special gift to give the world. These survivors could help victims of abuse become survivors. Beth proposed an alternative plan to the county, transfer the horses to her in exchange for payment. The county accepted. The Grace Foundation was formed to give a voice to these horses' story. The organization aims to develop a therapeutic program linking these horses to those with special needs including victims of emotional and physical abuse, children at high risk, inner city youth, and the physically challenged. The foundation also intends to provide rescue and rehabilitation for other animals that have been victims of abuse and cruelty. As I sit here today, I try to imagine the horses as they meet the children for the first time through the Grace Foundation. Their kind eyes seeming to say, don't worry, you'll be all right, you're strong, you will overcome. We did. This journey is only beginning, and with your help, we can make it happen. We are not afraid, although we know there's much to fear. We were moving mountains.
Disney Play Cup. I want to go see Oprah. <laughs> Where are you going after the game? I'm going to Oprah. Yeah. <laughs> Joey. Oh, you got Mary there too. This is great. Joe. There you go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs>